Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice square root math simplification problem. Square root of 400 divided by 20 plus root 399. So, let's start by rationalizing the denominator. Square root of 400 divided by 20 plus root 399. To rationalize the denominator, we multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate of this 20 plus root 399. The conjugate is 20 minus root 399 divided by 20 minus root 399. Next, square root of this 400 times this 20 minus root 399 will become 400 times 20 minus root 399 divided by by using this algebraic identity a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. This 20 plus root 399 times 20 minus root 399 will become 20 squared minus root 399 squared. Next, square root of 400 times 20 minus root 399 divided by this 20 squared is 400 and this square will be cancelled with this square root and here we are left with the negative 399. Next, square root of 400 times 20 minus root 399 divided by 400 minus 399 is 1. Next, now this expression will become square root of 400 times 20 minus root 399. Now, by using this property, root a times b is equal to root a times root b. This will become root 400 times root 20 minus 399. Next, this is square root of 400 is 20 times square root of 20 minus root 399. Next, 20 times this uh, square root of uh, 20 minus root 399 can be written as uh, square root of 1 times 20 minus root 399. Next, 20 times square root of this one can be written as this one can be written as 2 over 2. So, this expression will become 2 over 2 times 20 minus root 399. Next, 20 times square root of now we multiply this 2 by this 20 and by this uh, root 399. So, 2 times 20, 40 and 2 times negative root 399 will become negative 2 times root 
डिवाइडेड बाय दिस टू नो दिस 399 399 can be written as 21 times 19 and this 40 this 40 can be written as 21 plus 19 so we write this expression as 20 times square root of this 40 can be written as 21 plus 19 Minus two times square root of this three hundred ninety nine can be written as twenty one times nineteen divided by two. Next twenty times square root of now this twenty one can be written as twenty one can be written as root twenty one. Squared. This nineteen can be written as nineteen can be written as root nineteen squared. So we write this expression as root twenty one squared plus root nineteen squared minus two times root. Twenty-one times root nineteen divided by two. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a squared plus b squared minus two ab is equal to a minus b whole squared. This expression will become twenty times. Square root of this uh, root twenty one is as a and this root nineteen as b, so this will become root twenty one minus root nineteen whole squared divided by two. Now by using this property. Square root of a over b is equal to square root of a divided by square root of b. This will become twenty times square root of root twenty one minus root nineteen whole squared divided by square root of two. Now this square will be cancelled with this square root, and this expression will become twenty times root twenty one minus root nineteen over root two. Next twenty times. Now to rationalize the denominator, we multiply this expression by root two over root two, like this: root twenty one minus root nineteen divided by root two. We multiply and divide this by root two. Next, twenty times. Root two times twenty one will become root forty two, and root two times negative root nineteen will become negative root thirty eight. Divided by root two times root two will become two. Now this two one time and two ten times twenty. So this expression will become ten times root forty-two minus root thirty-eight. This is the simplest form. This is the final answer of this problem.